I flip up in the air. I was actually like face up and had to like go like this and react as if he, he hit me to the ground. If you watch this movie, there's always somebody getting wrecked. So. Boom, where'd the car come from? Oh my gosh. Everybody. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Yo, no, no. That guy. No, oh, no, dude. no. Don't, the car is not safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what happened. Thanks to Copilot for sponsoring this episode. Stick around to find out how you can get started with your own expert fitness and health coach today. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stuntman React. This is gonna be a good episode. We got the oest of the G's here. <laughs> Eric Linden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The very back. first stuntman to ever be in a Stuntman React episode. And of course, Guy is here as well. What's up, y'all? Let's just get right into it. We got cl good clips. I can't wait to show it to these guys. I have a list of like four clips that Eric has not heard of. Ooh. It's gonna be a good time. Ah! Hey, so you worked on Black Adam. Yeah. Yes, I worked on Black Adam, which was, which was really cool to get to see how they did this. This particular scene in the tomb, they were using that bolt cam. Where, oh, oh, where cool. they have uh, a track across the entire stage inside this tomb. And they did a lot with practical sets where, of course, there's some blue screen behind it, but there, that whole tomb was there. Hmm. And this bolt cam runs across a track across the floor. And it also has this like articulating uh, like robot arm. arm. The idea, at least, that didn't end up making it into this, they, they cut it up, was that Black Adam zips around and Catches you know, everybody. Yeah, kick, kicks the crap out of everybody. Yeah. Uh, so we would do it all in one shot, but we would only do one gag at a time. So the bolt cam would go, whoosh, whoosh, this gag would go, boom, and he'd fly away. And they'd go like this and move through the rest of nobody there. Mm. And then we did the number two, and number three, and number four, and so on. So you weren't trying to run them all at once. And a lot, there was a lot of wire gags in there. Oddly enough, I ended up doing two of them, which I still wasn't sure how that was gonna make any sense in the edit. And it was probably my fault they had to edit it, honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah, next to the guy with the beard. Really? Uh. They are. <laughs> Poor mercenaries don't even know what they're getting themselves into. I'm right there. Boom, Boom, and I go flying. And then that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I did this wire, you know, the old gooch wrap where mm -hmm. they, I flip up in the air. So as I come out of the, the yeah. wrap, uh, I was actually like face up and had to like go like this and react as if he, he hit me to the ground. Right. Well, then they just, you know, they scan you. And this is a perfect example where the beginning of the gag is me right up until he punches me but I hadn't finished the gag. So then that's my CGI okay. double, me, 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 double. Hey. Because that never happened. I was supposed to get punched in the chest and then they made it so, so punch me punched me in the back. back. Yeah. He was supposed to take out the majority of us all in this sequence right here, all in one shot. They cut it up into a, make it seem like he was killing more people. I mean, it came out very similar to the animatics, but the, these animatics they did were amazing. It was really, really good experience. Boom, next. Lightning round, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty rad brawl. Uh, uh, oh. That was a great switch round back kick. Damn. Uh, yes. This is making a contact. Round. Oh, oh. <laughs> damn. <Yeah. laughs> they like just put everybody in masks and if we kill someone, just slap the mask on the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who even knows what's breakaway anymore oh at this point? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pure mayhem, I love it. Dude, it how cool. fun would the scene just be to be in? Yeah. And they're like, okay, once we hit this one mark, just everybody go ape shit. I think it was done by the Thai stunt team that w worked with Tony Ja at the time. And so that's uh -huh. why it's like such a hard hitting. F it, like, if you watch this movie, oh, there's always somebody getting wrecked. Like, really bad. Yeah. yeah. Boom! Where'd the car come from? just gets wild. Oh my god! I mean, everybody. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> that car is Oprah Winfrey. You get a hit, you get a hit, you get a yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just looks so dangerous. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I, I, if you're going in a circle like that and you're pulling off one of these gags, like the idea wherever you hit is that you want to go to the outside of the car. Right. <laughs> and so anybody's going to the inside, not, not great. One thing I would say if I was had to do this 
is that I would drive the car slow and have mm -hmm. everybody on timing run and hit it and oh, figure oh, oh. out which way they were gonna go. Right. Some of that's for camera, but also some of it's for safety. Like that one guy probably always jumps up over, over the it. car. Yep. There's a real nice split of people. I think if this was completely willy nilly, you would have a lot more people going to one side instead of it like looking so pretty. Right. Um, they definitely probably had the car still, and then everybody just ran their course at it. Yeah, they, yeah, you do it. Plan the you goal. do it at five miles an, an hour, hour and, and, and work your get, way up and work your way up. So everybody's like, yeah. And I think when you're going full speed, there's some variability to this, but now everybody kind of knows that. Yeah, you watch closely, you see that everybody's actually like dismounting the car on their own terms. Mm -hmm. Right, and and they know how long the shot's gonna go. What a great clip. Good one. <laughs> good one. Hell yeah. This is a, a recommended comment clip and there's some great, really great good recommendation, guys. in those recommendations. So this clip, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, also in the comments, there, there's so many gems in the last Stunt React episode. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Please, uh, these, these obscure, amazing stunts are the best ones. All right. You know, everybody's seen like, you know, Marvel stunts. Right. But what about that one crazy stunt in that movie from 1975? Here comes the helicopter for the landing with our heroes. Whoops. <laughs> no, no. No. Oh. No. Oh, Ow. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they just cut to the destruction. They're like, yeah. Wait. <laughs> and they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're perfectly fine. Yeah, that, that thing is just scorched earth all around it, and they yeah. get up without a scratch on them. That, this is part of the, that's part of the movie. It does look like that was like... No, that is actually an accident. Was and it then really? They let, the, the, the guys didn't die that were flying the helicopter. They crashed it, and they are like, we need to put that in the movie. So they got the insert shots of the actors reacting, and then the actors that were in the helicopter are off the side going, God, did you see that? A tomato flew right into us. didn't see us. anything. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. I just weave it in. That's crazy. And I love how like none of the actors in the foreground know that this is happening until the rotors hit the ground and the guy just stops acting. Boom! And the guy's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't it make you wonder like what was supposed to happen? He's just supposed to land. Just land? land? Like he came in. Came in a little too hot. Yeah. Can't get that stuff. Like you, can, you couldn't choreograph or coordinate something like this IRL, I don't think, without like. No, you'd never be allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, hey, you're going to crash this helicopter well, it, until in this it, field. Yeah, until you said it was real, I was just going to be like, oh, that's like a forced perspective model. Right. <laughs> you know, that they were like. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice model shot <laughs> attacking the killer tomatoes. <laughs> The rest of this clip is them shooting tomatoes with guns, by the way. Yeah, I think if it, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, they're at a, just, they're at a, literally a tomato field. They're shooting tomatoes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nobody in this whole thing ever said like, why was the uh, helicopter in such a hurry? Because he was trying to catch, catch up. up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> you were, you were. We just lost uh, okay, Tora Tora Tora. It's a movie about Pearl Harbor. Came out a while back. Uh, Tora 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 was the code word for the, the Japanese for launching the attack. That was like the go word. Okay. Okay. Um, check out this sequence coming up. Oh. Yo, no, no. <laughs> that guy. No. Oh, no. Dude. No. Oh no. Oh, dude. Go. Go. Oh, no. Go, keep go, going. Go. Go. You keep moving. Don't, the car is not safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what happened. So there's initially like a remote controlled plane um, uh, set up with explosives. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be on the runway and blow up on the runway. It goes off course and flies into these planes with all these extras. This is not planned. And they're all just like, ah, running for their lives. <laughs> oh and then the pyrotechnics go off in the, the airplane. airplane there. Why didn't they keep running? The the thing is, they keep rolling after this. Like if you watch like this happens, boom, 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 explosives go off. Everybody's just like, oh my god, I almost died. He keeps it all. And like, the he's like, he, he, keep he acting, yeah, still he, rolling. Yeah, he still frames rolling. up. <laughs> Cameraman isn't like jaw still to the rolling. floor. He just is like, I'm getting still this. Still rolling, gentlemen. Keep Run back to the explosions, please. And they're all like. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be such an experience to film this, you know? Like, right. Yeah. Well, see that? 
can you imagine just like logistically needing to have like a place for what what was it 10 12 planes to take off from because like how do you get your marks well they do the shot <laughs> they gotta do the shot and i'm assuming go back and land again you have to land then they and, have to reset all right you guys in position all these okay. people running through it's not like the planes do a loop and then come back and just do it again yeah that's the hardest thing about aerial vehicles it's like okay they'll be right there so this is our shot. It's like, yeah. is it going to be right there? Will they be right there? Will the timing work out? This actually reminds me of a story about a shady car from Expendables 3. Who's that? A huge black guy in a boat. So yeah, they're in this like janky little truck. If you watch closely, you can see two camera guys just get blasted. <laughs> watch how long they commit to getting this shot. Getting the shot, getting the shot, getting the shot. Still getting the shot. Still getting the shot. It hasn't even reacted. Boom. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh he goes. goes. He goes. Maybe oh, that no. right, that little pause right there might have saved him before it completely no. goes over. Yeah, it just bonks Dude, him off. Can you imagine the weight of a truck smashing you into the water? water? That'd be yeah. pretty bad. I think man. that it bought him just enough time to like fall clear of it. Jason Statham was a professional diver. He's like, I'll just get out once we hit the water. That's what he thinks to himself. But all the water rushing in pins into the seat. So he's like, instead, I'll just hold my breath until we go underwater and just swim out up to the surface. Like, literally just rides it to True the bottom. True action, action hero. Awesome. Back to the top. Hell yeah. Yeah, pretty impressive. And the fact that he just keeps shooting. Of course, Sylvester Stallone is just filming with his iPhone. <laughs> Speaking of Stallone. Speaking of Stallone, we actually have a little stunt clip from Rambo. Okay. This is old 80s action stuff that I love. Yeah. This. Oh. oh so that's not, oh. that's not Stallone there. Yeah, yeah. No. That's just good old high fall. Yeah. I believe this is Stallone. Yeah. Here. <laughs> there it is. Boom. That's Stallone. Uh, yep. <laughs> so he broke his rib, what, right there? Oh. Go! Yep. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. And look, he totally didn't have to do that shot. That could no. have been a stunt double. <laughs> Nowadays, it's a good chance he wouldn't even do that. Uh, you, you would right. just put him on a wire, wire. Yeah. All, the way, all the way down. All the um, way. The ability to paint on wires is totally like change stunts completely probably have some sort of location but i think for the detail of him going through the trees there'd probably just be you know fake branches mm -hmm. on set so you could guarantee that these things aren't going to snap. snap fake fake tree branches that are like kind of padded that look like tree that are painted to look like trees right right i mean they're just doing this out in the woods like <laughs> you know they probably kind of like get up there and hang on the branch and they're like <laughs> yeah seems <laughs> good seems good that's a wild stunt Eric Linden is like dashing a double rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> the first double rainbow. If you're not subscribed, you might miss it when he shows up. So make sure you're subscribed. Merry Christmas. Uh, so this, I, this is also like my big love for like movies from the 80s and the 90s. Like I just grew up watching this stuff and was probably way too young to be watching Lethal Weapon. <laughs> but uh, this is another one of these things that's just kind of stuck in my mind as uh, one of those things that's made me want to do stunts in movies. Yeah. We're gonna take our time and both die of cancer. Riggs pops out here to try to uh, talk the guy down and starts to connect with him and then proceeds to slap a handcuff on him so now he can't kill himself uh but riggs is actually a little bit crazy as well and is like oh yeah pal you want to jump you want to jump okay let's do this i'm great ah. <laughs> see the handcuffs yeah. came apart <laughs> i didn't see that and, and then grabbed a hold of his hand last second wow, to what? make the gag work saved it Wow. I mean, that is far. That's dude. so scary. And he starts, oh no, oh no, oh no, boom! So you just don't want him landing on top of you when you hit that airbag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you could see how one guy kind of got, as he reached for that guy, it might have kind of pulled his momentum a little, little, little cattywampus kind of, yep. or something, or one guy started to turn before the other guy and it kind of pulls him around. Man, I might even want to go into boxes because if I hit the airbag first, I get it all and you get zero. <laughs> so, right. uh, or a lot less, I can tell you that. So it's like pretty important to hit it at the, it, essentially the same time. So you're getting, both getting that D cell. Do they use airbags anymore in stunts these days? Uh, yeah, yeah. Def definitely. Yeah. Um, I don't think, I think most of the time you're gonna opt 
for wires. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just safety and repeatability and um, footprint and all that stuff and being able to get a camera angle that didn't have a giant airbag in it. Uh, you know, wires is the, the way to go. What's up guys, Christian here. And as you know, I've been very open about my health and fitness journey over the last few months on this channel, which is why I'm very excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Copilot. Copilot is a awesome personal training, personalized coaching fitness app, and it's super easy. Basically, you take a short survey based on your goals and they match me with my coach, Devin. I had an onboarding call. After about 30 minutes, we talked about my fitness goals, how much time I wanna spend in the gym, how many days a week I wanna spend in the gym, and what equipment I had available. And in the next day or two, he had built out a whole calendar schedule full of my personalized workouts based on my goals. There's personalized guides on how the lift should be done. He tells you exactly how many reps and how much weight you should be using with the rest times in between. It's almost as if you're working out with a personal trainer in person right next to you. And if you're an Apple Watch user, it gets even better. I was just lifting weights one day in the gym and my coach told me to slow down. Literally, based off my apps, in my ear, he goes, slow down your reps. And I was, I slowed down my reps and all of a sudden he goes, that's better. It's super integrated. It's literally as if he was standing there right next to me. Devin's there in real time. After every workout, I put in some feedback. I said, hey, that was a little lighter on weight or hey, that was a little too heavy. He is there to be my accountability partner and my support partner to make sure I am continuously on it and keeping me in a good rhythm and consistency in my workout schedule. And a fun fact, over 75% of Copilot users that work out for 100 days continue to work out past that 100 days. It literally builds routines and consistency to keep you on your health journey long term. If you ever considered wanting a personal trainer but thought it was too expensive or you never had the time and it was never flexible enough for you, I think Copilot is a perfect program for you. And if you would like to get started, go to go.mycopilot.com slash corridor crew, or just hit that link at the top of the description and get your free trial with your own expert health and fitness coach today. That's go.mycopilot.com slash corridor crew so you can get a free trial to get started with your own health and fitness expert today. That's about it. I love hearing you guys' feedback. So hit me up with any questions. I'll be on my co-pilot program. But in the meantime, let's get back to Eric Linden on the couch for some stents. Yeah, I, lo I love yeah. this stuff because, uh, you, you know, when I was growing up, you just, sometimes you go back and, you, and you'll look at something that seems way bigger and you look at it and you're like, oh geez, but it's just my imagination as a kid. But there's some really gnarly stuff that they used to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in the <laughs> That they would CGI. never do now. They would just CG <laughs> it or, or, or it, right. would, it would be all fake and to some extent or on wires. and. They were real cowboys, awesome. I'm not ready for this to, to end, Eric. You need to come back to LA more frequently. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> well, thank you guys for having me back again. Yeah. This is always so much fun. And finally, get yes. to do it together. We've yes. been talking about it for a while. This is so yeah, great. we haven't had you sign the couch yet, I don't think. No. No, huh? Yeah, you're like you're one of the like originators. So you, like, we've been saving a spot um, for you. I was gonna, it'll be huge. How can people follow you with these days? Uh, just, uh, only thing I'm really active on is Instagram, at Eric Linden. But yeah, I'm always happy to answer questions, uh, and I literally do it all the time. People will ask me something specific or ask me to look at their short, and I literally answer every single person. That's really nice of you. That's a, that's a big that's a lot promise of you're making here to a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot of people. But seriously, that's, that's very, very generous of you to do that. As always, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. This is our last day. We're filming this on our last day in December before we do our little winter break here and come back in January. And yeah, what a, what a nice way to finish. end the year. Yeah, 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 thank you guys, appreciate <laughs> it. Sweet, well, see you guys in the next one. Hope you liked it. Peace. Hi, we're back. We just hit six million subscribers. The Breakfast of Champions right here. It is uh, 11 a.m. and we're about to start a day. What could go wrong if we eat a bunch of sugar in the morning? So we have like a million things going on this year. We're trying to invent a whole new like animation style for an anime video. We're gonna be generating a bunch of models here and like doing these translations using stable diffusion, which is very much like an unproven process. We've got local zero to finally get made an Unreal Engine. We're making dubstep guns too. We're making wizard cops again. Like there's a lot of stuff going on. And to do it, we need some infrastructure. And we're gonna start with a truss. So we can put up lights and people above the green screen. We got a ton of truss. We have six runs of 10 foot truss. It's a lot of boxes. And three additional two foot trusses. We're gonna combine all that, have 22 feet runs that goes up in the studio. 